Hi everyone. Welcome to this tutorial, where we are going to show you how to import and export ST maps in Mystica Boutique and Ultima. Let's first have a look at how to export ST maps. As you can see, we have already created the stack with media from Insta360 Pro 2. To access ST maps feature, you need to go to the VR Stitch FX. Default configuration displays, and will render out the full stitching. We can see that, by checking the option in the on output parameter. However, we can change this in a pull down menu. We can select between different cameras ST maps that compose the stitching. The menu will show as many cameras as the stitch has. Once we've chosen the camera, we will have to select the mode of the ST maps. Mystica is able to show three types, color ST map, posterized ST maps, that can be used for image diagnosis, and pixel units ST maps, which are the most common for compositing softwares. Once we've selected the camera's ST map and its mode, we can proceed to render. Remember that Mystica will render the option selected in the parameter on output. In this case, Mystica will export the ST map 1 in the pixel units mode. Mystica is able to render one ST map at a time. For this, you need to select the range of frames, and go to the output tab to select the render format. Then, click on foreground render. Now let's have a look at how to import ST maps and manage them. We can do that through media browser, or by simply drag and drop them into the time space. Then, select the relevant camera, and change the framing to input. Set the camera as input 1, and the ST map as input 2. Now apply the ST map FX. As we can see, the ST map has been correctly applied to our camera. Once the import is completed, we can also compose ST maps into our stitch. This can be done with the Comp 3D node. Let's see how. Applying Comp 3D node on the top of our stack, will perform the composition automatically. Now we will have to add the layers. Note that the number of layers, needs to be the same as the number of cameras. If an individual camera control is needed, we can perform the same operation for only one camera. The result we see is actually pre-multiplied due to the behavior of the layer compositing in Comp 3D node. This can be seen as the darkened areas on the stitch lines, when the softness is extremely high. To compensate this, we just have to apply channel FX over our stack, and divide every color channel by alpha. With this operation, ST maps compositing with the Comp 3D node is completed. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on social media if you want to keep up with the latest news on Mystica technology. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.